You're the creator of an app. It's called AI Avatar Buddy. Yes. Okay. And uh, I want to ask you, kids are getting more and more tech savvy. And I'm wondering, uh, can kids use AI uh, to, to do their homework for them, to write essays for them? Uh, do parents, how do parents stop this? And are teachers being trained to see which uh, uh, composition was written by a child and which one was <laughs> written by an AI? Well, that's a lot of questions. So <laughs> let, 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 let me unpack this. Um, so first of all, uh, when I was growing up, my mom used to help me with my homework. And then at some point in time, she couldn't help me with my homework anymore. So think about an AI, um, like Avatar Buddy, helping to do what your mom used to do, now has the content and so forth. Um, you can't use it to 100% cheat because you have to know the content area before you're able to ask it to write something. So if you say, write me a paper, it's gonna ask you some questions and you have to know the answers to the questions or it won't write an appropriate paper for you. Write so, me about a paper about Abraham Lincoln. What else do I have to tell her? <laughs> well, you kind of you have to say, what is it that you want to know about Abraham Lincoln? And then after it's written the paper, you actually have to have the content because what if it says something that's incorrect? So um, yeah, you gotta check it. <laughs> exactly. You gotta make sure it's right. It's and, not and, foolproof. And it's really interesting. Um, so people ask, what about the teachers? So my mom's best friend um, growing up is a teacher in Belize and she's up visiting us. And um, we sat down and we said, hey, can you help us write a lesson plan teaching about the independence of Belize, the, the key um, points of what happened in Belize in history? Um, and it actually was really, really on point in terms of giving us what we needed to do. It told us about like different activities and um, it just basically said, how would you grade the paper? What are things that you would look for in the paper in order to ensure that they hit all the marks? So from that perspective, it's really can help teachers. And um, some teachers have 30 children in a classroom, 25, and so not everybody's at the same grade level. So now, instead of having to just teach to a common denominator, you can ask the AI to write you your lesson plan and then say, can you write me a lesson plan for ESL students? Let me write me a lesson plan for more advanced students. And so now you're really able to get closer to that customized teaching that we know is so important in a child's I development.